come to him. Hey, Angel. No, I, um, uh, I finished up the work call a while back. I just hadn't gotten around to opening my office door again. You're not interrupting anything. Anything that can't be interrupted, anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm focused, and there's a lot on my plate, but that doesn't mean that I'm stressed, because stressed implies that I'm struggling with the amount of things I'm dealing with, or the intensity of those things, and I'm not struggling. I am aware of the amount and importance and time-sensitive nature of everything on my plate, but that awareness doesn't bother me. It invigorates me. It keeps me on task. I'm not stressed. I'm just busy. And there is a very meaningful difference there. And you're looking at him. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. I... No, that's not what that means. I, no. No. No, I... Hey, I... <laughs> <laughs> kissing game. <laughs> That's not what that means, and you know it. I told you from the start, not being stressed doesn't mean that I don't have a lot on my plate. It just means I'm not worried about it. Ah, uh, but... But, that doesn't then mean that I have time to just screw around and stop. That is... <sighs> that is not what I meant by screw around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> you are as insatiable as ever. Do not... <laughs> do not smile like that, you... <laughs> You know what? Fine. That's true, too. There isn't time for that at the drop of a hat, either. Not when there's a laundry list of things that need to get done before the wedding. Including laundry, ironically enough. Although, not for the wedding itself, just... <sighs> Just in 
general. And speaking of, I need to remind Asher that you can't wash a suit. It needs to get dry cleaned. Because that would be just our luck that he ruins his suit the night before the wedding. But then again, he would have to voluntarily be doing chores for that issue to even come up. And we know that's not happening, so I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> what was I saying? I just need to focus. I have been taking breaks. Look, I appreciate the concern, but I don't share the same concern. Getting everything for work lined up and scheduled and finished in preparation for the trip is just taking a lot of energy. I mean, this is one of the busiest times of the year. The weather is great, there's a lot of events going on, and a lot of them need security, so we're working overtime. Making the money now to save up through the down months. And on top of that, the, the great and terrible thing about the security company is that it's made up of the pack and the people we're closest to. And that is the exact same list of people that we want at the wedding. So, the business has to just go dark for that span of time. And it's not the end of the world or anything. It's not like we can't cover that. But it's just a lot of balance all at once. Logistically, financially. And finding that balance of taking on gigs up to the date that we're heading up north but also not too close because we don't want to be swamped right before we leave either because if anything doesn't go to plan and there will be things that don't that's just life and we want the time and the bandwidth to solve those things so that they don't interfere with the event itself and we've had some amazing growth lately which is great and I'm grateful for it but that comes with more red tape and more paperwork and it's a lot not too much it's nothing we can't handle, but a lot. And while I've got all of this, you have got all of your own work stuff that you're trying to get in order ahead of time, all while balancing what you're already having to work on in the moment. And then we're both working on all of the million little normal parts of life that don't stop just because you're busy. And, and I know we have the wedding plan cemented. I know we've gone over them a million times. You and me and Ash and his mate, you know. We've all got this down to a science at this point. We've planned for every eventuality. And that feels good. That feels good for someone like me. I like plans. 
things. I like checklists. I like backups. And we've got all those things. And I know that you and, and Asher both actually are more of the freewheeling types. You're comfortable with playing it by ear. And I get that. And that's one of the things that that I love about you so much. Even when it pushes me to the ragged edge of my comfort zone. It's led to some of the most incredible memories that I've made in my whole life. Ones where I'm at your side and we're knee deep in an idea that <laughs> you came up with two seconds earlier with no plan to speak of. capacity in you to find that middle way that can pull me out of my over planning bunker and let a little sunshine in in a way that manages not to burn had a way of being a ray of sunshine in my life, whatever the source of the darkness might be, whether that's, whether that's stuff from the outside or stuff from, from inside of me. But it is a middle way that you find. You get why I like having the plans. How having them makes me feel better. And you work with that. We find that spot in the middle. I think that's one of the wonderful things about us. I think that's one of the things that makes us work so well. We can stand in the middle together, but without losing what we've got on each of our sides. Which, all of that to say, I appreciate that you've let us plan this thing within an inch of its life. <laughs> that helps make it less stressful. <laughs> <laughs> drink of water and 
catch up on texts. <laughs> what time even is it? It's already five. I shouldn't even have to be looking at this stuff by now. You're right. I'll call it a night. What do we want to do about dinner? something and we've got that stuff that you thought I can I could grill if we want wait really <sighs> from do we need to go pick it up or is it getting delivered I fucking love you. <laughs> Which, to be clear, is in absolutely no way dependent on you having ordered dinner to get delivered here, but holy shit, is that ever gonna be amazing? <laughs> came in here to tell me. <laughs> oh, you goof. <laughs> yeah. No more work stuff tonight. Once we're done with dinner, we're doing something else. Anything else. Anything that doesn't involve me. Looking at that computer screen for a minute longer. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. There are two of us here. So that is a responsibility shared on that front. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 